Hey y'all, let's take a look at the equation of a line. This is a uh, review stuff, but don't forget when you see this slope intercept form, and, and by the way, you need to get this down to where when somebody, uh, you know, if you see a line written in a book somewhere, you can visualize what this line will look like. You need to make sure that you know when it says y equals mx plus b, this is the slope of the line. In other words, if it points up or if it points down, how high is the slope? How steep is it? All right, it gives you, there's a fraction or an integer that'll tell you uh, how high or how, you know, uh, what the slant of the slope is and whether it goes up or whether it goes down. This is the y-intercept. That number tells you where the line crosses the y-axis, the vertical axis on that line. Make sure you, could, you can you know that when you see an equation of a line. Let's do a couple of these, for example. Give me the slope and the y-intercept of these lines. Look at this first, okay? What's the slope of this line? What fraction is it? It's three, right? Or in other words, three over one. So you would go, of course, the line is going like this. You know it's positive, so it looks like this. So you could go up three and then over to the right. You could go down three and then over to the left or whatever. The y-intercept is right there. So that means if this is the, you know, the, the graph, the y-intercept, you go, oh, there's my y-intercept right there. It goes right there, okay? And then it goes up from there, right? The second one, what's the y-intercept of this line? positive one, right? So immediately you could look at this and go, okay, it's going to be positive one right there. Oops. Okay. Oops. That's going to be my y-intercept. Two-fifths. First off, is this pointing to the, like this, or is it pointing like this? It's pointing like this, right? Because it's a positive two-fifths. So we're going to go up two or down two. If we go up two, we go over five like this. But if we go down two, we'd go over to the left to make sure that it points like this, that it matches that one. All right, one last one. Y equals negative X minus two. Well, first off, what's the Y intercept of this line? Like here's the line. The Y intercept is this, right? So it's gonna start off one, two, and it'll be like, right, that's your first point. Now, is this line going up or down? It's going down, right? Because of this right there. Okay, and if you don't see a number right there, just assume it's a one and just write it as a fraction if you want, right? And you could write a fraction as one over one. You could write a fraction, in other words, one is one over one. It could be five over five. It could be two over two, whatever you want, doesn't matter, okay? So what you would do is go, oh, let's just pretend it's one over one. You're gonna go, you're gonna start right here. You're gonna go up one and then would you go left one or right one? Okay, if this is one over one, you'd go up one and then you'd go left one, right? Because when you connected those dots, the line's pointing down, that matches that negative right there. Make sure you got it. Okay, all right, let's try a couple of these using slope and y-intercept. Okay, and go ahead, just take a piece of graph paper, pause this, and let's work on this right there. Y equals 2x minus 3. First off, can you visualize this line? You should be able to visualize it somewhat, what it looks like. Okay. Pause it and go ahead and graph it. Okay, I'm assuming you've paused and finished. The negative three tells us one, two, three, that's my y-intercept. The two is a fraction, of course, two over one. That is a positive, which means it's going this way. So whatever you do, you can go down two or up two, it doesn't matter, let's go up two. One, two, and then over one, I'm gonna go over to the right one to make sure that my line goes like this. And I'll try to make that a little better there. Okay, and there's my line. Okay, pause it and try the second one. Okay, the second one is this one. Immediately you go, oh, y-intercept is one, two, three, four, five. I'm putting a point right there, okay? My slope is two thirds, that is a positive. So it goes like this. So, you know, you can take your two, you can go up or down, whatever you want. Let's go, go down this time, one, two. Now, if I did that, I'd be going one, two, three to the left to make sure that my line, oops, goes like that and goes positive. Okay, there's your second line. Pause it and graph the third line. Okay, the third line is a little different, but very doable. This negative two tells you immediately that one, two, that's your y-intercept. That's where you start, okay? That's my first little point there, all right? Where in the world did it go? 
Okay, there it is. Okay, well, my negative a half means that this line is pointing down because of that negative. So you can start right here. You can go up one or down one, whatever you want. Let's just go up one. If I go up one, I will be going to the left two. That is my next point. And of course, uh, if I went, if I started here and I went down one, then I'd be going to the right two to make my to make sure my line is pointing down. All right, it should be pointing down to match the fact that that is a negative right there. Okay, and that's how you look at these. You can graph these without even having to plot points and that kind of stuff. Well, let's look at this. They give you three equations here. And they'll ask you, what is the equation of a line? This, you've got to remember. If you want to write this down and make sure, and again, if you're doing this with your notes, go like that, you know, and this is lesson 12 right here. Make sure. Anytime anybody ever asks you, Maybe the equation of a line that goes blah, blah, and has the y-intercept with a sp all that kind of stuff. What you need to train yourself to do, this is a big, big help. Whenever they ask you for an equation of the line, you've got to train yourself to go like this. Just write this, y equals slope x plus the y-intercept. Just write that equation out. Then you can fill in the blanks in a second, but you've got to train yourself to go, to say this in your head, y equals slope times x plus the y-intercept. y equals slope x plus the y-intercept. Now you can fill in the blanks, okay? Well, let's take a look at a first. There's a right there. Well, what the heck is that? That's a vertical line. That's nothing. Well, it's on, let's see, it's the x value is negative 3. And it doesn't only really do anything like our normal lines back here do it all. Well, if that's the case, if it's only the x value is negative 3, just write this. x is negative 3, and you're done. <coughs> and for example, if it were a vertical line like this, going up and down, you did to write, okay, fine, x equals 6, done. Now look at b. It's the same kind of thing. That's weird too. That's a horizontal line. The only thing it hits is the y-axis and the y-axis value is negative four. So guess what? That's going to be y equals negative four. Done. If it were up here like, like that, oh dear. If it were like that, close the book and throw it out the window. Okay. That's going to be y equals five. Okay. Well, let's look at C. C is the type of line that you're going to, anytime they say, what's the equation of a line? Don't even think about it. Just go y equals slope x plus b. You can keep your eyes open if you want to. Okay. All right. You have to fill in the blank. In other words, we need this now and we need this. That's what we need. Well, you can look at c and go, well, first off, is that m, is the slope going to be positive or negative? Positive, right? It's going up and to the right. So we need, at least, at least we know that's a positive number right there. Well, what is this number right here? Remember what that is? That's the y-intercept, right? So whatever the, this, wherever this thing hacks across the y-axis, that's the number you're going to stick right in there. Well, look, it cuts across right there at 3, right? So there it is. We've got part of it already, right? So y equals slope x plus 3, right? We got part of it. <clears throat> we just need our slope now. Well, if you want to find out slope, first off, we know it's positive. The second thing is, you can take any two points you want that are right at crossing right here. Like this is a good one. This is a good one. You could do this one here. <coughs> you could do this one here if you want to as well. I mean, don't do something like that. That doesn't cut across any you know, exact point on the line. So take this line, for example, and let's go to this line. All right. Well, remember what the slope is. The top number on the slope, that's the rise, right? That's how up or down it goes. This bottom number is how much left or right it goes. That's all you got to do is just count them. So from here to here, we go from, you know, 3 to 4, right? So that's how far up we go. We go up 1. And in the same time, going from here to here, which is where this point is, we go 1, 2, 3. And that is a 3. It's going to be positive, so that is our answer. y is equal to 1 third x plus 3. Now let's say, for example, 
And you can't do this wrong if you pick two nice points. You could even go like this to here if you want to. As long as you do it right, you're okay. Let's just do it for the heck of it, all right? From here is a one. I go all the way to the five, right? Okay. Well, from one, one, two, three, four, that's going to be a four on top, right? Because I'm going up or down. Now, from here to negative six, all the way to positive six, from negative six to positive six on a number line, that's 12, right? Well, look at this, four twelfths. Our answer we said a minute ago was one third. If you just reduce four twelfths, it's one third. There's your answer. That's all you need to do. <clears throat> Once again, when they tell you, you know, write the equation of a line, the first thing you want to do is first off look at it. If it's you know vertical or horizontal, just use the x or y. If it isn't like if it's like this, just write y equals slope x plus y intercept. Y equals mx plus b, like that. Then fill in the slope and fill in the y-intercept. That's all you need to do. Okay, let's try uh, the practice set here. Give that a whirl, and uh, there's just two of them. So uh, give A a quick whirl, and uh, which is the horizontal line, then you know, pause it and then come back. Okay, well the value of A is going to be the value of the y, right? This thing is going across the y-axis. So it's going across the y-axis at negative 5. So all you need to do is just write y is equal to negative 5. That's it. You're done. Now, uh, go ahead and pause it and do b. Okay, b, again, you're going to look at this and go, okay, this is my line. I'm not going to even think it first. y equals mx plus b. This is the slope. This is the y-intercept. Okay, well, you go, I can figure out the y-intercept. Look, there it is. There's where the line cuts across the y-axis, and it's at negative 1. So I got part of it. y equals mx negative 1 minus 1. Okay, got it. Now all you need to do is take this line and go, I'm going to take any two points. It can be this one and that one or this one and that one, or this one and that one. Make sure they're right on the corners there, okay? I don't know, let's just take this one and make it easy on yourself. Take these two. Oops. Take these two points. One right there and one right there. My question for you is this. Is this going to be a positive slope or a negative slope? You tell me. It's negative, right? It's going down. So the first thing you need to do is just go like this. You can go, okay, y equals <clears throat> negative. All right, something x minus 1. All right, now we got to figure out what fraction is right there. All you need to do is go, okay, from here to here, don't forget, your slope is going to be the up and down over the right and left. So up or down, how far does it go from here to there when you get to there? Well, it's just 1, right? So 1's on the top. Now how far over does it go from here to there? Well, it goes over twice, right? From here to here is 2 from right there, so it's going to be a 2. So your equation is y equals negative 1 half x minus 1, and that is your equation of the line. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Have a great day. Thank you.